Hello, hello guys. It is L. It's me here. Um, coming to you with a uh, some candid conversation. Uh, I hope that it is well received. I hope that um, I don't know. It, it blesses this conversation. Blesses someone, you know. If not everyone that listens, you know, it blessed someone. Um. Let's go ahead and start with some prayer. Uh, thank you, God, for blessing this conversation. Let it reach the hearts and the minds of those who really need it. All right. So, um, I know what is really coming to me lately is intentions, the power of intent, the power of living life on purpose, being intentional. A lot of us are just not doing that. We're just not living life on purpose and we're not being intentional in everything that we do. Therefore, we're finding ourselves in certain situations that lead to nowhere. And then we're trying to figure out or untangle or unravel ourselves out of this situation that is going nowhere that is now quote unquote toxic or karmic well it's kind of like the karma that you create because if you're not intentional then what are you then you're wandering you're floating you're drifting in hopes and you don't run into some toxic or karmic or um, binding situation. The power of intent, just that phrase in itself, the power of intent. What do you intend to do each and every morning you wake up, especially if it is a weekday? For most of us, we wake up on a weekday and we intend to hopefully get up on time because we have somewhere to be, whether it is work, a job, um, our own business, we have intentions set for that day uh, for a certain space and time. And we're, we are hell bent on getting those things done. And most of us do get what we set out to get done we we get it done you know we accomplish it because of the power of intent we woke up in the morning and we we set our intentions whether they were verbally uh, they were written uh, we affirmed it to the universe or it was just in our head we knew what we needed to do right well imagine if you take that same energy and you place it into love and romance because it seems as if there's a great divide or disconnect when it comes to career, finance, and then love and romance. In career and finance, we wanna be very detailed, we wanna be very structured, we wanna have a system, we wanna be organized, and so forth. In love, we're all over the place we're chaotic there's no system it's whimsical i'm supposed to just fall into this it's supposed to work work relationships don't work they're just love you're just supposed to love the person it gets real foggy and very fairy tale and very emotional and it is without intent therefore you're finding yourselves in situations where you're not getting an outcome. You're not getting the desired outcome. For how you start is how you'll finish. If you start it with no intentions, you'll end the same way. Live life on purpose and be very intentional in everything you do, especially if you're over a certain age. For just being the whimsical, hippie, bohemian, chic type personality that's kind of feeling their way through life. 
at some point that has to stop, especially if you are not getting the outcomes that you want. I really want my women, listeners, viewers, subscribers, whatever you may be to the channel to be more intentional, to be more focused on outcomes and not just starts because a lot of you are having a lot of starts and no finishes, no accomplishments. And it's because you start with a lot of um, hope or you start with a lot of just nothingness and you're trying to make, you know, something out of nothing. And a lot of times in relationships, it just doesn't work. For some of us, we'll get lucky and we'll be able to make a nothingness situation. We'll be able to make it something. But... For a lot of us, we won't. To be direct, to give an example, please stop going into relationships, situationships, and you have the, or you're taking the stance of whatever happens, happens. No, because nothing will happen. Go into that relationship with full intent. Just like you would enter university. Most universities are four year, four years university or, you know, a four year university. And you enter that university and you, in hopes that you get out in four years, maybe in three and a half. And if you can cut it shorter, then great, right? You don't go into the university and say, well, you know, whatever happens, happens. No, you go with full intent. Like, I need to make sure I do my work. I'm trying to get out of here. I don't want to be a professional student. I just, you know, <laughs> no, you know, and that's how you have to look at love and ro love and romance and love and relationships. What is the desired outcome? Keep that in the forefront of your mind and you won't engage or you won't waste time with people in relationships that are will not get you to your desired outcome if it's that you want to be married have children have a life partner whatever it looks like because it's going to be different for everybody if said individual that you just met doesn't want any of that or you haven't even asked the question then you're going into it again just whimsical just on a hope a wish and a prayer and this is when you'll find yourself down the road asking where is this going or if or you'll be crying this is karmic and toxic well what did you expect the one thing I do admire I admire about men is most men men like real men and like real function high functioning um valuable men they're very intentional they're not like women who can sometimes be a little bit all over the place hopeful wishful prayerful men are very intentional if they're if they're having any dealings with you, it's for a specific reason. And it's gonna be hard for them to look at you any different from the the initial reason of why they engaged with you. So if it was just a hookup, then they always look at you as the hookup. Very seldomly do men take people, whether it's that men, you know, it's a men on, you know, it's a man on man relationship or a woman in man relationship. Very seldomly do men take things out of boxes. They, they compartmentalize very well and they're very intentional. So 
us ladies, sometimes we have to take on that energy just, just a bit. We have to jump into our masculine. It'd be very, very um, cerebral. Like we have to think about this. You can't just go on feelings and love, flowers and daisies and just things that don't matter. So the power of intent, guys, the power of purpose, if you know, if you know, no, no, in your heart that this is where you want to be, you know, your destination, you know what you want, but you also know that you're dealing with people who will not get you there, who will hold you back, who don't want the same thing as you, then um, what are you doing? You know? you're not living on purpose or you're not living up to your purpose. So you might have to restructure, reform yourself and then maybe some relationships in your life. Also, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Cause uh, you know, again, a lot of people are just, jumping into situations and hoping that it turns out best and it most times it doesn't so know what you're dealing with and state declare your intentions up front to people don't be afraid to go on a first date and you have a conversation and maybe your person asks you what, what are you looking for? You say, well, I'm looking to get married and have a kid. Well, it's not necessarily that you're saying you want to do that with them, but you have state, you know, you've stated your intentions and hopefully they'll state theirs. And if it is, if it's not similar, you know, just leave. Not, well, I mean, you know, eat your food and then leave. But uh, just know that um, if you engage with someone who, you have competing goals, competing wills, then it'll, you'll always be in competition, you know, with one another. You'll always be, it'll always be a fight. It always will be a duel. It'll always be friction and strife because initially you both didn't want the same thing. So know what, what your partner wants, what they're looking for, and, and don't try to conform to what they're looking for and, and don't stick around in hopes that they'll conform to what you want because that's manipulation on both parts and then also it, it, it just reeks of falsehood and lies you know because if they wanted the same thing as you they would have stated that initially not five years in and so that could, you know, that could be a problem in itself. So anyhow, um, I hope that this talk helped someone out there. I hope that you took something from it. Be intentional. Um, state your intentions up front. Live life on purpose. Um, the one thing that you cannot get back, that we cannot get back, is time. You don't want to waste it. Now, if you have a time machine somewhere, hey, please let me in on it. Send me an email. But if you don't, like most of us don't, be very intentional with your time. Don't waste time because um, it's the one thing you can't get back. And you don't want to be resentful and regretful in your life. So I hope you've taken something from this, um, this little talk. Thank you for listening. Um, you can book a reading if you would like to. You can go to the website. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, you could get back to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. The link is in the description box. It says buy L a coffee. So you can follow that link and you could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. 
Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.